I proudly present the finished version of my second pinball machine. I've talked about the new ideas that I had and I wanted to integrate in here and you've seen a preview and now I want to demonstrate how it works in practice. I just want to walk you through the features of the second pinball machine real quick. I used the same pinball launcher that I had designed for the previous one because it worked well and all I've added is this reload sign that I actually have all over the place wherever you need to reload marbles. So the ball will be launched and it's going on this ramp where it can if you shoot with the right amount of power, jump across this ramp and into this bowl and go down here and meet the first trigger, which will drop a ball into the 10 point score compartment. So right at the beginning you have an opportunity already to get 10 points. The other opportunity to get these 10 points is by going up this ramp right here. It's possible to um, shoot the ball up here, it will fly up and go into the ball. It's actually not that difficult with a bit of practice, you just need to give it a, yeah, a good amount of um, momentum so that it flies high enough. The other way to get points, 10 points, is to go into this um, half loop so the ball goes down in here, goes through the loop and drops into this ball, which sends it down this ramp, uh, rail, and activates this trigger, which again drops a score ball into this score compartment, giving you 10 points. The other thing that I've added while we're here is these chimes that make a nice satisfying sound and these chimes of course uh, give you audible feedback so that while you're playing you know that you've scored and you don't need to look while you're playing. So I thought that was very satisfying. The third way to score is to go through this decision tree that you can go to uh, over this ramp up here or when you're launching the ball initially and uh, you know, don't give it the full force, it will just drop down here and give you either 10 points over here, 10 points over here, or 30 points over here, and that is the middle score compartment. So if you want to be risky, you know, you could aim for that and hoping to get 30 points, but of course you'll lose the ball because it's dropping in there, and uh, yeah, you've got a one-third chance to get the 30 points, but it's more likely that you're unlucky and you're losing the ball, losing your chance to get more points by activating this or this trigger. Okay, the last uh, feature is an extra ball compartment which I think works much better than the other one. It's um, 
yeah, just easier to hit and more reliable in triggering. It uh, sits right here, and if you shoot a ball against this, then the marble drops out. And it's a very simple lever. Uh, let me see if I can show you right here. The marble sits on top of here, and I push a lever that pivots and pushes the marble out. Okay, I didn't push it hard enough, which normally would happen. So let me just push it again. There you go. And then the marble drops. All right, I think that sums up the features of this new pinball machine. I like it myself, and I hope you like it too. Thanks for watching.